I'm John Batchelor. My colleague and co-host Gordon Chang of Forbes.com is in Hong Kong, and we're very pleased to welcome the captain of the New York Rangers, 1981 to 1986, Barry Beck, who is in Hong Kong with Gordon. He is now the general manager of the Hong Kong Academy of Ice Hockey. Barry, a very good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. The New York Rangers are an iconic club in the United States, around the world. The NHL is known worldwide. However, I am flabbergasted and delighted to le learn that there is an Academy of Ice Hockey in Hong Kong. Who is there with you, Barry? Whom are you teaching to pay, uh, play ice, ho ice hockey the way Rangers play it? Good morning to you, Barry. Well, good morning. Good morning, John, and uh, thanks, and nice being on your show. I know uh, Gordon is here in Hong Kong, so he might know a little bit uh, about ice hockey here in Hong Kong being played now. I was uh, invited in 2007 to come over here by Mr. Thomas Wu, who is a businessman here in Hong Kong and an avid hockey fan and player to help start an academy here and to really uh, promote and develop ice hockey in Asia and in particular Hong Kong. So uh, uh, it's been going well. It's a new adventure for me, exciting experience and a different culture. And uh, I look forward to remaining here and then working with uh, uh, boys, girls and uh, men and women here in Hong Kong. Gordon? Yeah, first of all, I'd like to say that Steven Eisenberg is your number one fan, and Steven is, works with, with John Batchelor and helps put the program out, and he's the reason why we know about you, um, in addition to just knowing right, about you. Right, he's wearing number five right now, Gordon, spinning around in the control room. That's Barry Beck's number. He's got your, he's got your jersey on. Go ahead, Gordon. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you know, and, and in Steven's email address, there's a five, which just is not there by coincidence, so, you know, I, you really got a big fan in New York. Um, the question I have is, um, you know, in Canada, of course, you have um, the world's best hockey players, and that's because it's cold outside, and there's a lot of people who just are, you know, every winter go out in the rink. In Hong Kong, of course, right now it's 80 degrees, and it's November, so we're not going to have natural hockey rinks. The only ones that I've seen have been in shopping centers where you see mothers bring their little kids. Is this where, in Hong Kong, people learn about hockey is because their mom takes them to the shopping center? And is that a real problem in the since you don't have enough uh, ice rinks in, in the city? Yeah, that, that is uh, one of our challenges, uh, uh, Gordon, is that all the ice is in shopping malls. It's all commercial. Uh, there really is no proper training center here in Hong Kong, but uh, uh, we hope and uh, we're going in the direction of uh, our programs are really, our academy is really a, a grassroots program, so we cater to local kids, and that's the way that the sport will grow is getting into the school system. We have a primary school league, a high school league. We work with the Hong Kong Federation of Youths. Uh, with about 80 kids uh, and also our regular program so we're teaching Hong Kong kids the community is growing uh, it is a little bit different uh, uh, you know with uh, young kids coming uh, in Canada uh, you don't have a lot of helpers uh, that's one thing I found out when I first came to Hong Kong there's a lot of helpers here uh, uh, that help with local kids. Uh, of course, their parents are working, and uh, so you'll see two kid or, or one kid child being dressed by maybe two two helpers at a time. So uh, we have to teach them uh, the responsibility. That's the big thing about uh, ice hockey is that there is contact. Uh, even with young kids, you, you don't play contact hockey, but they're going to run into each other, so they have to learn the responsibility of uh, being on a team and social skills and these kind of things. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's a little bit different with the, with the rinks being in the shopping malls. Barry, what is the age range of your academy students? Well, it's with, we teach boys, girls, and men and women, so we, we start out uh, beginners at uh, really around three, four years old. Uh, I just had a class yesterday uh, with about uh, 15, uh, four- and five-year-olds, so I really enjoy it. Uh, uh, it keeps me young, and uh, uh, I enjoy that part of the game and teaching young kids. They're smiling, having a great time, so it's a, it's a happy time at the rink for me. We're also involved with uh, the national program now, working with the Hong Kong Ice Hockey Association, which we're a member of, and we have three teams uh, next year going to the World Championships. Our senior men's team is going uh, to go to Luxembourg, our women's team. I won't say senior women's because they don't like to be called that. They're going to the uh, they're going to Mexico City, and our U18 team is going to be traveling to Turkey to play. So it's a, it's an exciting time for hockey here in Hong Kong right now. Gordon, 
One of the interesting things about Hong Kong is that its first gold medal in the Olympics was an individual sport, which was windsurfing. Is there an issue of mentality of individual sports versus team sports? Because you sort of see that also in China, where you see excellent single athletes, or athletes in single sports, but not in the team sports, like, for instance, football and stuff like that. Um, is, is that an issue for you in Hong Kong, or is that not an issue at all? Well, I, I think it's something that I look at as a coach <clears throat> with players playing here. Uh, they play more as individuals, so they have good individual skill but need to work within that team concept. Uh, the men's team in China, I think, is ranked, uh, according to the IHF, around uh, 35th down, pretty down, pretty low for uh, 1.3 billion people. So so their hockey team is not doing very good either. Um, I think uh, it's that team mentality that they really have to learn. Uh, the part about uh, which we learn very quickly in Canada that there are no excuses when you lose. You're just not good enough that particular day. So the team concept is something that they have to work on with their organizations. And uh, I, I can see that as a coach. And that's something that we try and change and nurture here in Hong Kong. Barry, you're in a culture where you'd have to say ice hockey is fresh. Uh, are you a marvel? Do people come by and and stare at it? Do they ask questions of you on the street about being an ice hockey coach? Well, they, they'll stare at you a little bit more in mainland China, not so much here in Hong Kong uh, uh, with so many expats being here. You know, the, the hockey community community was started by a local Chinese uh, in uh, a local Chinese group in the mid 70s so uh, most of the hockey communities in Southeast Asia are expat driven I see uh, but that is uh, slowly changing in uh, Kuala Lumpur it's changing with their program now they're changing their youth programs catering mostly to local kids they know how it's going to grow that way Thailand's the same way uh, Philippines are the same way so it's uh, it's been changing, and uh, I think it's going to keep going in that direction. Do you have a sense of growth, of a fresh frontier, all of these countries participating in a sport that doesn't seem natural but is exciting? Well, we do. We're still excited about it. As Gordon said, there are some challenges. The cost of ice time is, is extreme here. Uh, uh, it's almost... Uh, Fourteen hundred dollars an hour U.S. Uh, to use the ice, uh, which in Canada would be maybe a hundred dollars to use. So there's that challenge, the financial, the budget challenge of trying to make hockey work in warm climates, especially Southeast Asia, where there hasn't been a ice hockey culture, so to speak. So that's why you have to get into the school system. Hopefully, get government backing behind you through the school systems and uh, and help that way. It's a great pleasure, Barry Beck, General Manager. Hong Kong Academy of Ice Hockey. Barry Beck, also captain of the New York Rangers, 1981 to 1986. That's number five. I'm looking at it in my control room. Steve Eisenberg, the great fan. Gordon Chang of Forbes.com in Hong Kong. I'm John Batchelor.